Hey everybody, Durek back at it again with another video on Hell Let Loose. Man, I have not talked about this game in a very long time. This is mostly due to the fact that my PC went kablooey, so I really wasn't able to play it and I kind of just dropped the game. But uh, yeah, Hell Let Loose has received several updates since the last time that I talked about it on this channel. So if you go back to the last time I talked about it, it looks like a different game compared to now. So it's not like I hated it or anything, it's just that I really haven't been able to really play it, so why talk about a game if you can't play it? But that changes today, because we are going to be talking about a new update that was released a few days ago but it's actually a pretty big update because it's a roadmap so what better way to get back into hell let loose than to cover a big update so yeah let's uh get into this update so the first part of the update is update six which is apparently going to come out in april of 2020 which is about a month away i believe yeah a month away the first one says a new map you know one thing that i noticed about hell let loose is that almost every update comes with a map which to be honest is pretty badass that almost every update comes with a map but uh it does have some drawbacks because a lot of the maps end up being safe Amy. And I don't mean like everything looks exactly the same, but I'm talking like there's a lot of like flat open fields, which I just hope isn't the case this next time. Because if there's anything that Hell It Loose seems to be getting wrong, it's kind of like the map design. Like for example, take St. Mary Dumont. Like they have a beautiful city that's ripe for fighting in, but it's all the way at the other side of the map when it could have been in the middle. Like by the time we finally get to the city, the game is basically already over. Man, if the city was the centerpiece, that map would have been the best map, in my opinion. It's like wasted potential with that map but yeah i'm curious to know what this next map is going to be like is it going to be historical or is it going to be based off of um the movies or the games because the last couple were based off of uh banner brothers and brothers in arms with foy and purple heart lane the picture in the background might be a giveaway but i'm not entirely sure looks like a forest area but can't say for sure so curious to see what that map is going to be all right let's move on the next one says ballistic systems overhaul this is where i kind of wish that they would put a description because i'm not entirely sure what this actually means like does it mean the difference between your head and your shoulder like what takes more damage is that what it means by ballistics or is it talking about bullet damage depending on where it hits you or i mean it's showing a picture of that big shell that's flying up into the air so i'm assuming it's talking about like artillery maybe is it trying to say how effective it's supposed to be i mean it is kind of easy to die in the game so maybe there was a lot of people that were complaining about it so maybe they're just looking into it who knows i'm not too sure about this one but that's all i really got to say about this uh let's move on the next one is recon vehicles and it is showing a picture of the the German Puma and the American Greyhound, I believe. It is very rare that I actually see the Greyhound in almost any game. I think the last one that I had seen was in Company of Heroes 2. Man, I really like the Greyhound. It's a neat little vehicle, but I don't know how effective it's going to be against tanks. I'd imagine it's going to be a great infantry killer, which I hope that they give the Greyhound the canister shell, which effectively turns a cannon into a shotgun. It's going to be devastating against infantry, but I can't really see it penetrating other, you know, tanks, maybe lighter tanks, but you'd have to get like pretty close, right? I mean, at that point it would just basically get one shot at itself wouldn't it who knows we'll see the last thing that i want to say about this is i hope that this is the beginning of open top hatches because it's like you can't do an m8 greyhound without a dude standing outside of it holding on to a 50 cal or was it a 30 cal i forget i think it was 30 right but yeah i mean ever since tanks were added i have always been telling the developers like come on guys open top hatches that's got to be a thing come on postscript is doing it how come you guys can't do it but yeah that's all i really got to say about that let's move on to the next one here there's apparently going to be additional commander orders which is interesting because i'm not entirely sure what's going to be added here but anybody who likes to play as a commander i'm sure are going to like additional features so we'll see how that goes moving on the next thing is additional cosmetics which you could never go wrong with looking good but i'm sure they're not going to just give it to you it's probably going to be something that you have to unlock by playing the game so yeah moving on up next we got engine upgrade so anytime that a developer likes to upgrade their game to the current version of the engine things don't always go well for them in my experience is almost always an asset that's not fully updated and it screws with the game but generally i hold the developers in high regard because almost every update that i've played has usually been pretty well optimized and fixed mostly there was maybe like one update where it felt really bad and that was when they added in the commander's explosion the first time around but they were able to fix it like relatively quick so i mean i'm pretty sure they'll be able to upgrade the engine with not that much of an issue but we'll see the last one is game mode balancing and changes this is another one where i wish that they actually put down a description of what they actually mean but i'm sure what they kind of mean is you know taking a lot of people's feedback into consideration of certain things i mean the game still has a long way to go but uh yeah that's pretty much everything when it comes to update number six let's go ahead and move on to the next one here which is update number seven which is slated to release in quarter two of this year which if you don't know quarter two is somewhere in april may and june generally the first two here are first person total animation overhaul and third person total animation overhaul yeah so for those of you that don't 
don't know, the animations that are currently featured in the game are handmade. Like, a lot of people have said that the game feels a little on the arcadey side because of its style. Like, even I said that. It kind of reminds me of the old PS2 animations, which, to be honest, I don't mind. But I'm sure a lot of the developers took this to heart, and they decided to go with motion capture to improve the game and make it feel more tactical, which is a good thing. Because they're really catching up with all the other tactical games that are using motion capture at this point, like Ready or Not and Postscriptum and Squad. But it looks like they're doing a lot of different types of animations with motion capture because it looks like this guy is like sliding like he's gonna try and slide into cover or something which would be an interesting mechanic you don't want to get hit so you slide into cover but we'll have to really see how these motion captured animations are actually gonna feel when this update comes out but yeah that's all i really got to say about that let's move on the next one is large scale firearms sfx overhaul so anytime that i had gone into a hell let loose game i would always hear people talking about how the sounds don't sound that great or they just don't have enough punch or kick to it or don't sound that beefy but i always had the argument of well i'm sure they're working on the game first and then they're gonna get to the sounds that's kind of how it's been with hell that loose like they always put the sounds on the back burner but it seems like with these next couple of updates they're really gonna get into the sounds so that's a good thing especially for the big artillery weapons and commander abilities i wonder if it's gonna be like audio cracking anyways let's move on so like i said with the previous update almost every hell that loose update that comes out seems to almost always feature a brand new map and with this one comes a new urban map so yeah one problem with hell let loose is that a lot of the maps are like really flat and open like they're open fields very hard to find cover like it kind of makes like the maps feel kind of samey there's maybe like one map that actually feels urban i think i think it was utah can't remember but yeah the point is it's really good that they're actually bringing out more urban maps because it really levels out the open field maps because i think that there's a little too many of those and the picture that they're actually showing off here kind of looks like a factory building like i wonder if that building is used to make tanks that'd be kind of cool can't wait to know and see what the map looks like let's move on the last thing that's here is continued optimization and bug fixing so one thing that i've noticed about hell let loose is that the game has really become unoptimized i've noticed like i used to compare hell let loose to postscriptum and saying how hell let loose was the more optimized one but it's really like flipped since the last time that i played like now it feels that postscriptum is the more optimized one and hell let loose is the one that's having the issues at least that's what it feels to me i don't know about you guys but it's good that they're looking more into that and uh yeah that's pretty much update number seven it's going to be coming out in quarter two of this year i believe and, uh, yeah that's pretty much that so after this they have a category called still to come and the first one is large scale optimization across entire game plus maps and yeah right now it seems as if hell at loose does have an issue with optimization i mean it's it isn't like too bad but it's definitely worse than what i remembered and that's mainly because they're actually adding stuff into the map as time goes in like there's certain things in the maps that i haven't seen there before but yeah the next one is more western front maps i mean they've already added like a ridiculous amount of maps at this point my only issue with them is that that they feel a bit too open and a bit too green like i hope they add more uh urban areas you know house to house fighting and uh, yeah we'll see where that goes from there the next one is supply and transport trucks yeah this is a feature that is desperately needed like i'm getting sick and tired of just running from the ass end of the map all the way to the front that's like really annoying so i can't wait to see those in the game after that it says support role overhaul i can't think of what they would give a support role i mean i'd imagine it'd be maybe more ammunition or something but i'm not entirely sure the next one says new weapon and loadouts this is going to be an interesting combination i wonder if this is going to have to do with like uh customization like anytime that you upgrade you get to add more stuff to your kit because certain roles only have just a primary weapon and a grenade and that's pretty much it but yeah i hope that uh, you'll be able to edit that a little more speaking of which the next one is more customization options maybe that's what they meant maybe what i just said is exactly what they're going to do hopefully after that it says sound improvements which again this is a game that has actually had a lot of people complaining about the sounds and how they sound right now so i'm hoping hoping that this is actually going to you know improve it in the near future here and uh yeah after that it's engineer role overhaul yeah i kind of hope that the you know they'll be able to put down bigger things or maybe like board up houses you know stuff like that that'd be kind of cool like i feel like the engineer should be able to do a lot more than just put down sandbags and barbed wire tank traps you know because i know that there are a lot of people out there that just like to do nothing but logistics i'm one of those guys to be honest small transport options like the jeep and the kubel wagon again this is another feature that the game desperately needs because i would like to transport my troops to a certain part of the map within a quick fashion but now the question is how many people can you fit inside of a jeep just four in total or can you like pile on top of it you know carry like a shit ton of people that would be kind of cool like having people sit on front that'd be awesome moving on better player group system join games as a unit oh that would be kind of cool actually that would be really cool because it would be nice to actually you know because i have a lot of friends that like to, uh, uh friends and subscribers that like to play this game 
team so it would be cool to join with them instead of me having to like close up a squad and invite them like you know it would take a lot of that out of the equation so hope to see that right there the next one is the eastern front who's fighting on the eastern front because i'd imagine they're going to do the russians versus the germans i assume yeah some eastern theater that's got to be cool that's got to be a lot of maps though huh moving on flamethrowers man the flamethrowers have actually been talked about for a very long time at this point and they have shown them off but they never really talked more about that i thought that the flamethrowers would have been in by now but i guess not but it's nice to see that they're actually talking more about it here all right moving on melee oh my god it would be so nice to melee people like i don't know what it is but i hope that this is actually the one game where they get melee right because every other tactical game that i've played so far i mean to be fair they're all in early access but every other tactical game that has melee just doesn't get it right or it's not even in the game at all but yeah it would be cool to like rifle butt or freaking charge with a bayonet run or stab people with my knife or just punch people pistol slap you know that it, that'd be great that'd be fun and uh, yeah moving on in-game fx overhaul and showing a picture of a tiger in the background yeah so uh, i really hope that they overhaul a lot of the weapons and the tanks and all that stuff when it comes to the sounds because that would be kind of cool because they seriously need it i mean a lot of people always complain about that sort that sort of thing and compare it to postscriptum what i've seen continued ui and hd polish yeah i have some issues with the uh the hud like in particular the map if they can make it easier for me to like zoom in myself without having to use the mouse that would be great kind of like how squad has it where you open up the map and then you tap n a lot to get uh you know the map to pinpoint your position so you can see where everything's at that would be great that's like my biggest frustration so far is just trying to figure out where the hell you are on the map like it takes too long for me to try and zoom in on that but yeah i can't think of anything else at the moment so let's move on it says more vehicles and again like i said before i think the transports are like the really main thing that i'm looking forward towards because that's going to get a lot of people moving from here to there and this could also help with logistics which i don't know how they're going to do that by the way after that it says bullet penetration systems so they're going to get in depth with that or what not entirely sure but moving on after that it says commander abilities and which i already talked about that early in the video so i'm not going to really go out after that so yeah that is pretty much the roadmap i gotta say i really want to get back into this game i don't know how often i'm going to be in but if you guys would like to see more of this then be sure to like up the video you know if you want me to talk more about hell let loose and uh, yeah that's the video if you're someone that likes the fact that i cover this type of content go ahead and leave a like comment and share the video if you're someone that's new be sure to subscribe and ding the bell if you're someone that wants to help out the channel check out my patreon just send two bucks a month it really helps and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye